Hello all, welcome to Offer Studies YouTube channel. This is part 8 in Kushto playlist. In this video, we will be discussing about count and distinct operators in Kushto query language. So how this count operator and distinct operator will work when you are working with Kushto query language. It is basically similar to SQL. In SQL also we have count function and distinct operators. So this uh, will get you like number of rows, right? Count will get the count and distinct will get the distinct values from the given column, right? So it is similar functionality even in the Kushto also. So these operators will return the same thing. When you talk about count, it returns number of records in the input row set. Once you give one table and on top of that, if you apply a count function, then it will give you the number of records from that particular input table. Here, strom events is a input table. On top of that, I am applying count operator to get the number of records. When it comes to the distinct operator, it will provide a new table that will get you the distinct of that column. So here, I use the state column on top of the strom events table. So in this column, whatever the distinct values we have, with all the distinct values, it produces a new table. Let me practically show you this. So let's go back to Kushto Explorer, I have already opened and here if you have watching my previous videos, you already know what is help cluster, how, what is Kushto Explorer, how to connect it, everything. So please watch all the videos before watching this video in this playlist so that you will get more idea. So here under the help cluster, there is something called samples database and there is a table called, uh, here there is a table called strom events, this we all know already and this table have the data information for the different type of strom events happen in different states of United America. So let me practically show you this. To open a new query window, you need to go to home menu, click this new tab. And here, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to query this strom events table, okay? So let me take this strom events table and then let me query this here. So let's remove this pipe symbol for now. And here, when I hit this execute button, it is going to query the strom events table like select query. So it is going to perform the select execution on top of this table when you compare with the SQL. So let me minimize this here actually. And if you see, we have state names and what kind of event happened in every state. And also like injuries, direct injuries happened, how many? Indirect injuries, how many happened? Death direct, deaths indirect. So all the information along with the date times so this is fine so now in this table if you see here we have totally 59,066 records right uh, so if you want to get this count using a query execution here then on top of this table use pipe operator uh, sorry pipe symbol and use this count operator if you read the intelligence it says it will return the number of records in the input row set so let me use this and let me hit this run button to execute this query here and if you closely observe we got that we have totally 59,066 records basically right so this is the count so for this count if you want to give a new name then use as operator here we haven't discussed about as operator we will discuss that in our upcoming videos we can maybe number of rows this is the name I want to give now let me hit this run button this time in the output you can see the new column name so basic focus is about this count function and as I said this count function will help you to get the number of records. Let's try to understand the distinct function. So before understanding the distinct function let me use where operator here and I am going to use like direct injuries uh, maybe greater than 50. Wherever we have direct in injuries greater than 50 get that information from this table. Let me hit this run button to execute this query. And if you closely observe this query result, we have state column and event type column along with the direct injuries. And uh, totally we got around 8 records, okay. You can see here, we got around 8 records. Now if you see here, uh, this is like unique combination. Cairns, Toronto was not repeated. But if you see here, Missouri excessive heat was repeated twice. For some reason, when you take the state and event type combination, we want to get the only distinct values of this. We want to know like what is the distinct combination of state and event type where the direct injuries are greater than 50. So if you want to know that, remember this here, this combination we have two times, right? 
now after applying distinct on top of it so i am applying distinct get me data of distinct state and event type so this is what i am going to use here sorry event type so let me use this and now when i execute it whatever the state and the event type values we get those are distinct values you can see all these values are distinct nothing repeated see this miss missouri and excessive heat was repeated twice but it was not repeated twice in this output when i applied the distinct right so if you see here the distinct operator actually help you to get a distinct values of any column it can be one column or a multiple columns so what i can do is uh, maybe remove this entire thing i want to get a distinct states from the entire table so if i execute it i will get a state column back with a distinct states in it you can see here so these many distinct states related data is available in our table of the storm events okay so this is how the distinct operator will work it will produce a new output table which contains the distinct rows for the given column or given combination of columns so i hope you understood what is count operator and distinct operator and how to apply it in kushto query language thank you for watching please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get the notifications whenever i add videos thank you so much